All right, boys and girls, Mr. Spolsky here on another beach adventure. That is right. In my hand, what do you think I might be holding here? I'll give you a second. Dun -dun 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 -dun. That's right, a shark's tooth. Now, this is not any shark's tooth. This shark tooth, guess who found it? I found it. What? How did you find the shark tooth? Well, you know what? In all of the sand that gets washed ashore, you can actually find fossilized shark teeth. What? Wait, what are you talking about? Fossils? Yes, this shark tooth right here in my hand is anywhere from one to three million years old. You're like, what? Where are all these shark teeth coming from? First off, some sharks have up to 50 rows of teeth. That's right, bull sharks do. And when they have 50 rows of teeth, every time they eat a predator, they lose teeth. So, or their prey, excuse me. Now, at this island that I'm at right now, this is called Boca Grande. This is in Florida. Now, if you look out amongst the island, you're, you're noticing fishermen. Now, this is one of the most highly populated current hammerhead shark place in all of the United States. There's hammerhead sharks all over here. The other day I actually saw a little baby one swim right by me. It was amazing. So, what we're gonna be doing today, boys and girls, is we are gonna be exploring different types of sand and you're gonna be looking for your very own fossils. That's right, you are gonna find your very own shark fossils right in this classroom, right here today. So let's pretend you're at the beach and, be, and let's not be too scared of those sharks. 